Welcome again to another video. In this video, we will do an F test for two variances, which is required when you do a T test, and it's required for other reasons. So an F test is required when you're doing a T test in order to know which one to use, a T test assuming equal variances or T test assuming unequal variances. Also, an F test is required when they ask you to do an F test in order to test for the variances or standard deviation. So, for the purpose of determining which t test to use, the claim will always be that the variances are equal in the null hypothesis, not equal in the alternative hypothesis. Which means, if we fail to reject the null hypothesis, we're going to assume equal variances. If we reject the null hypothesis, we're going to assume and equal variances because rejecting the null means the variances are not equal failing to reject the null means that they are equal so in order to do that we're going to go to the data analysis tool pack and we're going to choose F test to sample for variances we're going to click OK and we're going to select the first variable range and the second variable range. We're going to use alpha 0 0.05 and let's place the result over here and that's all we need. Selecting the two ranges alpha and the output. So comparing now the values, you can see that the F-test value is pretty high. And that's what we do, what we get on F-test. We're not going to get small values. The other thing you realize is that it doesn't give us a two-tailed test because the F distribution is not a bell-shaped symmetric distribution. In fact, it's skewed to the right. The F-test is always a right tail test even though it's a two-tailed test. So the critical value is 0 0.622 and the F value, the F test value is 0 0.8649. So comparing the F critical to the F test, we see that the F test value is to the right of the critical value, which means it's in the rejection area, and the decision would be to reject the null hypothesis. Rejecting the null means supporting the alternative, and that means that we have unequal variances. So it's as simple as comparing these values, and the result will be unequal variances. In other words, if you're performing this F test before a T test, you will go ahead and do a T test assuming unequal variances. If the result was to fail to reject, then you will go and perform a T test assuming equal variances instead. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come.